Welcome to the unboxing of the Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo, which was purchased from Amazon. We're going to do an unboxing video. I am Patrick with Light Source Engraving and my associate Roger with Light Source Engraving. So I hope you enjoy the video. You want to say hi, everyone? That's it? I don't have anything to say. Okay. He doesn't have anything to say. Let's just go ahead and roll with it. The first thing to open a box is to have the coolest knife ever. This is one that Patrick gave me last year. I believe that's the CRKT Executive. I think that's what it was called. It is, but this one's special because it has my initials all over it. All right. All right, we got foam. Lots of foam. A pack of accessories and some filament. It's like a flash drive of some type. Yep. Just some tools. Impressive. Oh, and it comes with a putty knife. Yep, to get those prints off the bed. Uh, it does have uh, an extruder wheel, which would be handy. Extruder knob. Zip ties, and of course, in here we have the signature Creality snips. Let's see. Does that come out? Yep, it does. Looks like right there we have the screen. It is packaged nicely. What is that called? The filament dispenser? Spool holder. Spool holder. I like this package. Yeah, this is well packaged. And we're looking, everything is mostly assembled here, which is uh, something different with the Ender 3 series. Yeah, hopefully this will be a lot less work than what I was expecting. Yeah, typically to assemble a basic ender, you're looking at, if you know what you're doing, it could be a couple of hours, two to three hours. So we have our Z gantry already yeah. pre-assembled. Pretty excellent. So motor's already there. We have some different uh, type belt tensioner knobs. I, break something there or not. Uh, I just don't know how to remove foam from a box. Okay. You can go ahead and pull that out. Uh, or, or it's attached. Okay. Either plugged in or tied down. Oh, it's already plugged in. Oh, cool. Let's scoot this box out of the way. All right, so there we have it. Um, okay, this comes with flexible steel magnetic work surface. It'll be easy for removing prints. Of course, the Ender 3 V2 tool drawer. And it looks like all we have are four bolts. And then this would be mostly assembled. Well, that seems simple enough. It does. I'm going to sit this down here, set it down now, flip it. All right, so out of our little accessory package, we have the signature Creality blue nippers for cutting your filament or Including zip ties. Tearing off supports. Zip ties. USB drive. Let's see, there's a nozzle. Nozzle clip. There's the four bolts that we're going to be looking for. 
a pack of tools. Screw pack. Screwdriver, a couple wrenches, and hex keys. There are starter filament, which is vacuum sealed. And our handy extruder knob. So here you can see the quick start guide with a list of parts and assembly instructions. So we'll start going through this guide, kind of. The first thing is to get those four bolts installed. I'll just remember these are all aluminum extrusions and steel screws, so you don't want to over torque them. All right, four bolts. It's together. Step one. That was step one. Step one. I think now we move on to installing the screen. Okay. Okay, here's an interesting point about the screen. It came with your T nuts already installed instead of hanging out in the bag of hardware. So that is very handy. Cable seems straightforward. There's a little notch. Just follow that notch here. And that's installed. Here is three. And again, on the spool holder, the T-nuts are already pre-installed instead of buried in a bag of hardware. Is that how that goes? Yeah, in the back, because your spool is going to enter from this side, or your filament. You want to tighten that down on that side? Probably over to... Now we just have to connect our cables. We have E for extruder. This is the x-axis limit switch, which has the two wires. Then we have the x-axis stepper motor, which is six wires. And we have the extruder stepper motor, which is, well, six pin, but four wires. Z. So there's, tucked down here on the side is the z-axis stepper motor. So that one will plug there. All right. Our z-axis limit switch is the... CR touch auto level. That's the two wire one you said? Um, let's see, the two wire one will go into the limit switch for the X axis, which will be here. So here we have extruder. We'll go into this one. Then X into that one. All right, so that is it. Let's see, at this point, the printer is fully wired and ready to be powered up. So now all we have to do is plug it in and see what happens. So that was very quick. And we can also put the extruder knob on top of the extruder motor. All right, so there we have it, uh, about 25 minutes, and that was with messing with cameras and making sure they were lined up to get this fully assembled and ready to power up. We had one, two, three, four cables to hook up on the gantry here, one down here for this motor, and one for the screen, and that was it. So it's ready to go. So a total of five T-nuts and four bolts, and it's done.
and we are powered up and ready to go. Screen looks perfect. No issues during transit. So there we go. About 25 minutes on camera to have a fully functional Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo. We'll get some filament loaded in it and get a test print started and finish up this unboxing. All right, we've got her plugged back in and we are running the first auto leveling. One thing to notice, these extrusions have covers already installed on them. They look really slick, very nice. Um, we have a test print loaded already. Uh, there should be one loaded on the USB drive that came from Creality. I like the way it's doing the auto web link. Going through and touching every portion. So while we're waiting on the preheat, we already have upgraded springs and large adjustment knobs for our bed leveling. All right, we've got the SD card from Creality loaded into the machine, and we're going to start one of their test prints. Well, this also has a preview on the screen so you can see what your G code is going to run. That is really cool. I did not know that. So it looks like this is going to run a little rabbit. Everybody likes little bunnies. 